Hello everyone, Chuck Alberts here for another video review. Um, I'm not going <laughs> to, well, I don't think it's worth me putting them any further forward. I think you can see them as it is. These are basically uh, Cadbury's new um, choc tarts essentially in various different types. So we've got the mini egg, the flake, the crunchy and the caramel. I don't believe they do anymore. These are the only four I saw anyway. Um, so you can see this is the mini egg one. Basically a little tart. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, Essentially a derivative of, a, of the sort of particular chocolate. So this obviously is the mini egg one. And we have the flake one. We have the crunchy one. And finally we have the uh, caramel one. So they're all, um, so if we place them back like that, you can see they're all roughly the same, but there's slight differences between them. So they've generally got um, obviously all the same size. Um, and they all have the same kind of design, but they're all slightly different. So the flake one's got like a chocolate cream on top, I guess. Whereas the mini egg one obviously has like a sort of a, well, I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's got a different type, different cream on. But it's got mini egg on it, of course, it's got a flake on it. The crunchy one uh, seems to be the only one with a different bottom part. I'm not actually quite sure what that is, but it's obviously an orangey colour. And it's got crunchy pieces on top. And the, car and the caramel one's got uh, like a caramel flavour one presumably and uh, like a little caramel tab on top. So all slightly different there really. Um, so there's four in each box. So I imagine they're quite small really. The box isn't massive. But as you say, it says, it says new on the front on all of them. Um, so what I'll do is I'll be taking, I'll take one of each out and then I'll review them all at once. I thought there's no point in me reviewing these separately because they're all so similar and you probably would want a comparison as well anyway, to be honest with you, wouldn't you? So um, I thought it would be best to do that. So um yeah, so I think they're all rough and luckily it gives you the, the let's have a look, the, um, yeah, I'll, I think I'll do the descriptions as I come soon. So I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll take each one out now. And, uh, could have done this before, but I uh, kind of prefer to show the unboxing as well, I guess, in case there's any surprises or issues. So you can see this is the, uh, this is the flake one. So you can see it comes in like a little... Tray, I guess, plastic tray. There we go. So, uh, yes. Hmm. Smells quite nice. So, uh, right, I'll take that one out. Should perhaps have had a separate plate somewhere, but I didn't. <laughs> so there we go. So that's the, uh, that's the flake one. I'll give you a bit of a close look at that, I think. So this this one particularly isn't sent. It's got a few little. Uh, Flaky bits out and about, but as you can see, essentially uh, the flake one. I think I'll come to them individually in a minute when I review them, so uh, I'm not doing the same thing twice. There you go, here's the mini egg one. So, the, I don't think it's on the camera, but these are sort of this one. There's two purple ones and two pink ones. Uh, pink, pink, purple, purple. Um, I don't know if it's if there's different colours ones, if we do yellow ones, if they're all pink and purple, I don't know. In the front of the box, it does have a pink one on it, um, but there is a sort of, well, I guess that's purple there, isn't it? Yeah, so maybe pink and purple. For whatever reason, pink and purple. My favourite colour is purple, so I'm going to go with the purple one. I think they all roughly taste the same. Some people say some of them taste slightly different. Um, it seems a bit like orange smarties taste different than the other ones, and then maybe the yellow ones taste slightly different. Um, and these, who knows? So here's the crunchy ones. You can see some of them kind of aren't quite centered. This one's all gone to the one side. This one's kind of not, doesn't seem to be as much in this one as the others. So they don't seem to be quite consistent with the uh, crunchy one. Um, okay. There's some quite nice smell coming from all these there, I must admit. Mm, yes. So it's more of a pastry smell to be honest with you, it's not really a chocolate smell. Um, and finally, the cabbage candy ones. You can see those. So these do look a bit substantial actually. The, the, the penny on top is quite big, it's a giant button. Um, it's filled with caramel by the looks of it, so it's a bit similar to the. Uh, well, I think the Byron kind of caps with Galaxy Caramel sort of um, buttons with um, camera in the middle, I think. I think you can get them separately. Okay, so here we have them. Yes, so uh, 
Nice. So there we go. Hmm. Very nice. Look very lovely. Yeah, so um, I'm going to have my trusty knife somewhere, which I probably will come in handy shortly. Let's take them out of the little box, little uh, foil. What do you call them? Can't think what they're called now. Cup? <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> yes. It's quite nice. I noticed, but yeah, there's like a blue on the bottom of a Cadbury's purple. It looks a bit bluey there, but I think it's, I think it's purple actually. Yes. Um, okay. So there we go. So we do have them all out now. They're all looks like they all have the same pastry or whatever. So let's have a quick look. So we've got the uh, the Galaxy Caramel here. So it says chocolate flavored pastry cases with caramel sauce and a chocolate flavored brownie filling. Hmm. Top with a caramel flavour icing and decorated with milk chocolates with a soft caramel centre. Lovely. Yeah, so per tart, 200 calories, quite a lot. 8.2 grams of fat, 3.6 of which are saturates. So that's this one. We'll do the crunchy one next. So the crunchy one. Um, chocolate flavoured pastry cases with a sugar honeycomb flavour sponge filling. Top with a chocolate and sugar honeycomb flavour icing and decorated with milk chocolate coated sugar honeycomb pieces. So 200 calories again for this one, uh, 8.5 grams of fat, 3.6 of which are saturated. So same calories, um, just slightly different on the fat, saturates are the same. Here's the mini egg one. Um, chocolate flavoured pastry cases with a chocolate flavoured brownie filling, topped with fondant icing and decorated with milk chocolate eggs in a crisp sugar shell. So 205 calories this time, slightly more, 8.7 grams of fat, 3.7 which are saturates, so slightly the worst for you, I think. <laughs> Let's be honest with you, I don't think it should be, you know, obviously, uh, things like this are always going to be calorific. The flake ones, 205, well, hang on, sorry, uh, chocolate flavoured pastry cases with a chocolate flavoured brownie filling, blah, 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 as usual. Uh, Topped with a uh, chocolate flavoured icing and decorated with milk chocolate flake pieces. So that's kind of, there's like a pretty text above it where it actually says delicious chocolate flavoured brownie topped with a chocolate flavoured fondant. Baked in dishes, pastry case, and finished with a chocolate flake piece, but that's slightly. I could have read that one, but I, I didn't see that at first. Yeah, so 205 calories, 9 grams of fat, 3.9 grams of So the flake ones are actually uh, the worst for you, but only just. Um, so there we go. So, yeah, there's one of them. This one here, the crunchy. So this, the others have a brownie flavoured filling. Um, this one's got a sugar honeycomb flavour sponge filling. Um, Yes, chocolate and sugar, honeycomb flavoured icing. So they're all slightly, slightly different. So um, yeah, I should have. It's hard to remember them all actually. Yeah, maybe so I would review them all at once, I guess. But okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut, perhaps cut them into quarters or something like that as best I can. And then uh, yeah, so obviously the difficult one with the uh, mini egg one because I don't think the egg will cut very well. It's just going to sink. So I don't know what I'll do there, <laughs> um, but um, you know I, I think it struggle to bite into that anyway. To be honest with you, I think it's probably going to be a difficult one to. You know, you just eat the whole egg, the egg all at once, really, wouldn't you? Is, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so they've all crumbled a bit, so you will have that problem, I think, anyway. So you can see a bit of crumbly. Um, Okay, so here we go. So this is the uh, crunchy one. So they are a bit crumbly. The pastry does crumble quite a lot. So, so you can see there. Hmm, that's pretty tasty, has to be said. So uh, yeah, so this one. Yeah, so it's basically got sugar, sugar honeycomb flavored sponge filling, topped with a chocolate and sugar honeycomb flavored icing. Decorated with milk chocolate coated sugar honeycomb pieces. So that's those. So they weren't evenly distributed, so there's one quarter that doesn't have any of the sugar things on top. Okay, let's give it a taste. Mm. It's quite dry. Um, Despite the fact it's got quite a creamy middle, you know, I think the pastry is quite dominant in it, really. Um, hmm. Could be because I'm having like a quarter or whatever, I had a bite out of it, but um, 
Not too bad though. I think that'll probably be the same with them all, to be honest with you. I think they'll all have that kind of consistency. Um, I'll tell you what I might do then. I think here's the, this is the mini egg one. Uh, the mini egg. Let's see. Box is going to do it. <laughs> yeah, the mini egg one. Um, chocolate brownie stews, yes. Um, chocolate brownie filling topped with fondant icing and decorated with milk chocolate egg. Okay, so just basically our mini egg on there. So I've done a mini egg review. So um, that was quite nice. I think the uh, the crunchy one now. Sorry, I probably scrossed over it slightly. It does, I didn't really get a much of a honeycomb taste from it. The the top was quite crunchiest, but they were quite soft. They weren't really like a crunchy. Um, you know, so I was a bit disappointed with those. The taste is a bit soft, really. Yeah, and I think I guess they were reasonably crunchy. Now a bit of a crunch to them, but they're more like um, eating like a caramel or something. You know, there was that kind of. It was a bit of a crunch, but then they were soft on the, on the centre. So I think if you're a fan of a crunchy, I think you'd be quite disappointed with these. Um, they don't really taste anything like crunchies at all. That fondant, whatever it is, this orange bit in the middle there, um, it doesn't look very orange on the camera, but it's actually a lot orange, more orange in the, in, in, in the flesh. Um, yeah, it just didn't really, it doesn't really taste anything like um, a crunchy, I don't think this. Mm. It's nice, but um, it's a bit of nothing really. It doesn't really taste of anything particular. And these crunchy bits are not too, are not reminiscent of a crunchy bar at all, really. I say they are quite crunchy to start with, but they're soft on the inside. So I don't really, I don't get it that. To me, um, I'm not quite sure about that. Okay, let's try the uh, mini egg one then. Anyway, as I say, so um, the brownie filling with um. Is it um, fondant icing? He says so. Probably, I'll probably nibble the egg as well. So let's have a. Hmm. Mini egg's nice, but you lose it in the rest of the um, pastry. Actually, you just don't taste it. <laughs> um, the brownie's quite nice. Um, it's quite soft and gooey, but it um, doesn't have much of a taste. Again, you get a lot of pastry taste, really, with these. Brownie's definitely there, though, but um, it's just a bit too mild. And even the, hmm, and the fondant's just a fondant, so a bit disappointed with that as well, actually. Nothing too dramatic so far. Um, okay. Nothing of this tastes anything like mini egg. I don't. The fondant just it's just a bit like a sort of a vague fondant taste. You know, a bit creamy, a bit sort of marzipan-y, I guess, but without the sort of almondy taste. It's got that kind of consistency. It's a bit stretchy in there, you know. Hmm. Okay. Well, again. Mainly getting pastry from this, and this pastry doesn't really taste of much, you know. <laughs> um, okay, it's a bit disappointing so far, to be honest with you, but let's try the uh, caramel ones then. So, um, so again, it's got the brownie filling, topped with a caramel flavour icing, so caramel flavour icing this time. And uh, let's see, so I think you can see a bit of a glisten of caramel there as well, so in the button there's caramel. So, uh, okay, let's give it a go. Hmm. Again, you do taste a bit of the caramel um, from the, the button. Um, because it's a liquid caramel. Um, the brownie tastes a bit like a, you know, it does taste of a brownie, but it's just a bit too subtle. Um, perhaps there's not enough of it. The icing doesn't particularly taste of of caramel. Um, I guess it does a bit, um, but again, you're mainly just getting a bit of a dry flavour, really. Um, yeah, and I, to be honest with you, not too impressed. I don't think the flake one's going to blow me away either. <laughs> Let's put it that way, because it's basically the same as the others. Um, 
again the caramel one you don't get you know there's nothing really caramel about it basically and I think you can see there actually that this sometimes this particular one there's a lot more of the sort of icing than the brownie there. Maybe that's why you can't really taste the brownie that much. There's quite a small layer of brownie. I don't know. It's not consistent really, but um, hmm. you mainly taste the pastry, is the gist of it. Um, okay, so the flake one, same as usual. It's got the brownie bottom um, with the chocolate flavour icing decorated with a bit of a flake. So we've got a small flake piece on the top. So, okay. Uh, the icing's quite. The icing is a bit like an icing you could, you could roll it out if you know what I mean. So it's a bit. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, let's have a taste of it. Let's try it out. Hmm. I think the flake one is possibly the nicest. Because. Um, you really taste the flake. Um, but the rest of it is just really forgettable. Um, you know, the brownie, it just isn't really strong enough. It's a, it's a nice texture on its own. I think you had a big chunk of it, you'd probably like it. It'd be an average brownie taste, I think. But because it's so small, you just don't really taste it. You just get the consistency of it. The icing is um, always a bit subtle as well, really. And you just, again, get that sort of texture of it. Never really tasted of too much. I think mean, the, the caramel one tasted slightly, it had a slight taste, but it wasn't particularly caramel like. Um, you can kind of see the mess all this has come into as well. And you can see that most of what you can see actually is probably seems to be pastry, really. <laughs> I mean, I admit I've left pastry there, but I don't know, it's just all crumbly pastry bits. Um, and pastry is just pastry. I mean, it's, it's nothing great to eat, really. So um, I don't know. Um, Hmm. Overall, I'm a bit disappointed with these. I thought they'd be really nice, but um, maybe it's just my taste, and not to my taste. But the cat, the the flake one was really nice when I tasted the flake. It was the only one really that stood out of having a unique taste. You know, even I say the cream egg one, uh, the uh, mini egg, I, I just couldn't really taste it. it. Just sort of blended in with everything else because I was when I was eating it, it was. You know, I don't, I don't know why that was particularly. Maybe, maybe it's just a one off, and the others would be nicer. But um, but the flake one. Um, when I tasted the flake, you know, it was really nice. But then the rest of it was just a bit mundane, really. It was just sort of, it was just, it was just something accompanying it. It just didn't really have much of a taste. So, um, which begs the question: Why not just buy a flake? <laughs> why not just buy uh, a, a Cadbury caramel? Why not just buy a crunchy? Well, I mean, this doesn't even taste like crunchy. And the mini egg one just has. It's not really mini egg. It just has a mini egg on top of it, and the rest of it has no relevance whatsoever. So, um, and you couldn't really even taste the mini egg. So. You know, um, so yeah, so the crunchy one isn't really crunchy. Nothing in it tastes crunchy like. The, this um, stuff at the bottom, the, um, what does it describe it as? Um, honeycomb flavour sponge. It doesn't really taste of honeycomb from what I can tell. Um, there's nothing really in the, the pieces, as they have a side bite to them, but uh, but then just to have a soft inside. inside. I don't know how they manage that. It's just because it melts, you know, like the honeycomb does in a, in a crunchy, but because it's so small, you don't really get the, the taste of honeycomb particularly, and um, well, the consistency of a crunchy, so it fails, really. Um, as I say, the only one that I got anything like it was the flake one, um, and, you know, and, and that was just with the flake piece, and all the rest of it just was not too great. And the caramel one was okay. You did get a, a taste of caramel from the, obviously, liquid caramel from the, from the button. Ooh. These will fall apart very easily, um, you know. Uh, and they, yeah, and they fall apart very easily. I know I've cut them up a bit, but you know, you'd still be biting into these. You, well, you could eat one whole, I guess, but you'd still must take a bite, and it would just crumble apart really. So that's not very good either. Um, this one, yeah, does have a caramel taste slightly because of the caramel button, but not overly so. And it's um. This sort of fondant icing does taste a bit caramelly, but not that much. Mm, not really. It's, it's got a slight taste, but nothing too dramatic. So overall, a bit disappointed with all these. I think that none of them are particularly better than the others because they all have the same pastry problem. It's just too much pastry taste, I think. 
or that's the way it comes across because nothing else particularly tastes of anything it's distinctly enough I don't reckon um, the crunchy one is well I'll summarize now crunchy one has no resemblance to a crunchy really but it does have more resemblance than the mini egg one which you know just doesn't just has a mini egg on top and that's about it for a mini egg you know for as far as mini egg goes the caramel one tastes a bit of caramel I'd say the icing on top makes an attempt to be a bit more caramel like and the button has a caramel center so that was quite nice but again they're also subtle and you're just getting crumbly pastry the flake one the flake does taste as a nice flake but um it's very short-lived and that's about it really um as i said the brownie the brownie is not too bad in the ones that do have a brownie which is all of them other than the the, um, the crunchy one but you just don't taste it really enough it's just a texture rather than a real taste and the, the icing on top again is is more of a texture than a taste it's a bit like a fondant um you know like the outside of a of a, of a fondant fancy or a, or a french fancy however you want to say it and the pastry is just a bit too much they crumble and they fall apart the pastry doesn't hold together well at all you, you can see all the mess and the crumbs here so very very disappointing so they're nice but um, not horrible i don't dislike them but I would just rather buy the chocolate bar. I'd rather have a mini flake or a flake or a mini eggs, <clears throat> a crunchy or um, what's the other one or the, uh, the caramel, you know. Um, yeah, so I don't know, unless you particularly like tarts or whatever, have a love of pastry, um, I don't think you should bother with these really. You just don't have a strong enough taste of anything in particular. I mean, I'd love chocolate and I love things, but... Yeah, I don't get. I don't. Even though there's stuff with a chocolate brownie, you just. I just don't get. I don't feel like I'm eating a decent chocolate brownie. You know. Uh, hmm. You just mean You know. You do get. So you do get a bit of a taste of one, but it's just not. Good enough. Not good enough, really. So. It just doesn't carry. To, it doesn't carry. So it's not a good enough chocolate brownie to carry it. You know, but you can taste it. And the icing's just a bit of nothing, so yeah. So overall, disappointed. Um, probably a two out of five for me, all of these. I, I don't think any of them particularly stand out better than any of the others. Yeah, I probably wouldn't waste my time with these. So these are new. <laughs> so the new um, Cadbury's Choc Tarts. Look wonderful, but just a bit of a mess. So, never mind. Two out of five. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, or at least I hope it's uh, <laughs> stopped you buying these. I've been around for a pound at the moment because they're new. So you get four for a pound, but uh, there's in four, a box of four for a pound. Um, but to be honest with you, I, you know, I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really bother. As I said, they do look lovely. They really do look nice, but they're just not, they're, they're just not really that, as good as they look. So, a shame. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that review. I um, hope you found it informative. Um, follow me on Twitter, subscribe. Um, send me a comment or three. Um, like my videos, and I'll see you next time. Let's get watching, guys. Take care. <laughs> Bye for now. See ya.